So just another day in the life of someone who thinks a bit too much when they are drinking their water from a water cooler. Look at this. <gasps> Insert conspiracy music. Is this like a parabola? Oh yes, my friend. I'm glad you asked. All projectile motion is a parabola. <gasps> Teacher, is it is it aliens taking over the world? Is it conspiracy? No, 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 no. You chill first. It's not conspiracy. It's not aliens taking over the world. It's just gravity doing its job. My my friends, my dudes. Gravity is the parabola. So so far, probably you've heard me say it. You've heard various people tell you that this is a parabola. If you launch something, it doesn't matter whether it's water, golf ball, your hopes and dreams. It's joking, joking. I think my jokes are not funny. Okay. Let's say again at an angle theta. So you can put your mouth here. You know you want to design a proper water cooler, right? So if the range is too too large, then it will splash you in the face. If the range is too small, then you have to lean too close and almost put your mouth here, which is no good. So what's the ideal parabola? So let's say the water leaves the water dispenser at an angle, at a, you know, speed U, at an angle theta. Okay. So right now, I'm like, why is it, how is this trajectory a parabola? If you want to know what is trajectory, right? It is the path that the water takes. Ah, this, this thing is what we call a trajectory. Okay. So the path that the water takes. Path taken by the object in motion. And what motion are we talking about? Good old projectile. Okay, la, this is not the first rodeo. We're going to do the same thing all over again. So let go. Stuva time. So hopefully when you are watching this video, you're like, mm, I can do this. Pause video and do la. Okay, so what I'm going to do is Okay, my goal, okay, right, or whenever you define or you want to derive something, I find it very helpful to list down my goal. Okay, so if I want to prove it's a parabola, hmm, meaning, if let's say, oh, you see all this red dot, ah, I see this red dot here. This red dot will technically have a coordinate on the x-axis. So maybe, 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 mm, mm, big brain, big brain time. I don't have an editor, la, but if I have an editor... My brain will look big now. Joking, I don't care. This one is live record and then just play only. Okay. Okay, anyway, if this is my y axis, this is my x axis, my Chartesian coordinates. So you think to yourself, hmm. Tut, 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 tut. X. So this X is actually your a horizontal displacement. Oh, let's put the X here. Hmm. And if you this will be y, the y coordinate, right? x, y. So this y is actually your vertical displacement, okay? From the original point, right? This is s, y. Wow, teacher, if this is parabola, I just need to find the equation of x in terms of y, and then if like it's y equal to something, something x square, ta-da, parabola, okay? Parabola, SpongeBob me. Okay, so the goal here is to uh, derive y in terms of x with the hope to get x squared or some term in x squared being the highest order of your polynomial. Okay, so no x power 3, no x power 4, just x squared, x, and maybe a constant. I don't know. Let's see. All right, so we're going we're gonna to just let the time of fight be t. Teacher, t, t until, I don't know, any time, uh, you imagine how oh, this point can move at any point on the Chartesian plane. Can even be here, my dudes. Here also can. Anywhere along the blue color line. If let's say, for example, this part splash into the floor, we can go all the way. If it splash into the floor, we can go all the way until the floor. Bush. Okay, so let's derive first and then later I'll find a simulation to show you. So we know the initial speed for the uh, vertical component. This is u cos theta. Okay, again, I'm setting up the good old traditional trajectory. No tricks here. Okay, we're measuring theta from the horizontal component. Sometimes the question just like to throw you a bit and, you know, throw the ball downward. Uh, that one you handle in a different question, okay? But we're going to focus on this one. This will be u cos theta. This is u sine theta. Okay. Veteran already. Look at how far you have come. 
if you don't, didn't know how to resolve vector before this. Okay, V. Hmm, big brain. This is zero. This is negative G. Always the same for every parabola. Okay, so parabola is just free fall with a horizontal component. Did you I don't have V? I don't care about V. I don't care about V. I just want X in terms of Y. I'm a simple person. Okay, so the less other things cluttering up my equation, the less things I will have to eliminate. Okay, so I don't want V. I'm going to use the equation without V. First, for the X component, we'll use no V. S is UT plus half AT squared. But x component acceleration is zero. Bloop. This is zero. My favorite number. This is x is equal to u cos theta times t. t can be any time along the trajectory. Doesn't matter. At different different time, the water will be at different different place. Okay. All right. We do again for the y component. Uh, S is ut plus half at squared again, but the only difference now is y is equal to u sine theta times t. It's okay to keep the t. It's fine. Everything is fine. Chill first. We'll substitute it somehow. So u sine theta times t plus half negative g t squared. Okay, so we got to substitute the t. Because y, we want y in terms of x. This, uh, substituting t, so t will be equal to x over u cos theta. Slow and steady, we will substitute into this t and this t squared. Okay, but I would prefer to write it down. For my future self, and also to, to guide the readers, I'm going to substitute t is u cos theta into equation one. <laughs> this one is one. Okay. All right. So we'll do it now. S slow and steady. Okay. Don't panic. U sine theta. T here is x over u cos theta. Sure. Okay. This is negative g over two. Okay. T square would be x square over u square or square theta, something like that. Yeah, not something like that. It is square of this one. Exactly. All right. So now this is my T. Oops. Why no change color? Hello. Okay. So this is my T and this is my T squared. Yay. All right. Let's try to, you know, um, rearrange this a bit so we get something that's a bit more reasonable. Okay. So on one side is Y. Okay, on the other side, um, I will take out everything that is not x squared. All right, so I will have g over 2u squared cos squared theta. There's nothing much I can do here. Of course, I can play around with identities, but I think I'm, I'm not very concerned about this. Because don't forget, u and theta are all numbers. So you can put it in if you want to. But the important thing here is there's an x squared here. Oh, the x squared I wanted. And then there's a negative here, by the way. Okay. There's a negative here. And also, plus, again, I'll take everything out. U and U will cancel. Okay. That's a part where we can simplify a bit just to satisfy ourselves. Sine theta will cos theta. You can write it as tangent theta. I'm just going to keep it as it is. And then this one will be x. So I will say since g, u, and theta are constants throughout the trajectory. This one is all initial conditions, right? Theta is the initial angle. Uh, g is always a constant. And u is also the initial speed. So hence, I can write y is equal to negative a x squared. So I'll let this whole thing, this level, la, this chunk here, everything here is constant, what, become a. And here you will plus whatever this one here, uh, tangent theta or sine theta over cos theta. This one you can put b. It can be anything, ma. Constant only, ma. But what does this? What does the shape of this graph look like? It is a negative x square graph, which essentially, when given a Chartesian coordinate, negative x square graph would look something like this. Okay. A Parabola. 
So this is your negative x group. Something like this. But you are moving, so there's the plus bx, or basically your turning point is not zero, zero. Okay. So we gotta move this a bit. I don't know where to move it. It depends, depends on where your trajectory is. Lah. Okay. And of course, um, this one is obviously limited by certain dimensions because uh, if you are throwing this in this direction, then there's no way it will fall in the opposite direction. This this part here is doesn't exist, lah, okay? But that one would be like if you want to really graph it in your mechanics, mathematics style. But this is enough to show that, hence, the part of the trajectory, the part of the projectile motion or the trajectory of the projectile is a parabola because of the general equation of negative x squared and x here. All right, so that's it for this one. Let me show you a quick demonstration. Okay, here's one I find from GeoGebra. You can adjust the part. You can see the trajectory will change. But if you take every point along the dotted line, okay, it follows the x squared curve. The initial conditions, basically the angle, and how fast or how slow the speed is will affect the part. But all of these, all of these are parabola. So, pew. all of the coordinates along the trajectory is a parabolic curve. Okay, so that's it for projectile motion. Thank you for asking good questions and thinking a bit more. You are doing well. I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da!